Hello and welcome everyone, this is Mr. MuMath with a new video on the Taylor series. Today we want to have a look at the logarithm and the alternating harmonic series. Now, again, like in the video with the um, uh, geometric series, I won't uh, use the normal approach of finding the Taylor series with calculating all the derivatives because there is an easier way and more intuitive understanding of the Taylor series of the logarithm. So uh, let's just start off and I hope to show you some uh, application of this logarithm uh, when we calculate the alternating harmonic series. Okay, so let's start. Now, where we start off is, again, at the geometric series. You might say, why is he starting off with the geometric series? You will see short. Okay, you will see in short time that this is really strongly related to the logarithm. And if you look at this Taylor series of this guy, it's 1 over 1 minus x. And then you add 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth. Very important here is this condition that we will um, have a closer look at uh, later on, that the magnitude of x should be smaller than 1. Now what we are doing is, we are just trying to integrate this, okay? If you integrate 1 over 1 minus x, you should know you will have the minus of a logarithm of um, 1 minus x. And on the right hand side we have this polynomial. Now, the big question that we have to ask at this point is, are we allowed to integrate this by terms or is it not allowed, okay? And actually this is allowed in this case because this guy is converging uniformly and then you can interchange integration and differentiation and so forth and summation. This is no problem for a uniformly uh, convergent series. Now let's go ahead and integrate the left hand side and the right hand side. On the left hand side we get minus the logarithm of 1 minus x. Pretty simple, you can just differentiate and see that this is coming out. And on the right hand side we get 1 uh, integrated gives you x, x integrated gives you x squared over 2, x uh, squared integrated will give you 1 over 3 x cubed, then 1 over 4 x to the 4 and so forth. Now you might ask something, you see that the terms are going higher and higher and in, so for example if we have x to the 7 then we have to divide it by 7. Now what is important about this logarithm is that we actually um, would get a integration constant in front of this. But you can check that this integration constant is equal to 0 by just plugging in 0 for x. You will see that this uh, constant of integration is just 0. So I'll just leave it out and not uh, comment any more on that. Now we have that. Now the l single thing left is here. We multiply with minus 1, bring this on the other hand side. And then we have this first series, okay, actually I wrote this down with all minus signs and sometimes you can also do brackets around this and say minus of x plus x squared over 2 and so forth. Now I've written down here a second series which you can get very very similar to the uh, other but uh, even simpler you just plug in minus x into this equation and as long as our magnitude is smaller than 1 we can do this. If you plug in minus 1 then what you will see is on the odd terms, odd powers of x, we will have a positive sign and on the even powers of x we will have a minus sign left because you are squaring the minus that you plugged in and here for example you would have minus x to the fourth power so it would cancel again. Only for the even uh, for the odd values this minus sign would uh, still be there and we would have minus minus giving you plus. Okay, now sometimes people go even further and uh, just subtract from this equation this guy so logarithm of 1 plus x minus logarithm of 1 minus x and then you get logarithm of 1 plus x and uh, over 1 minus x and then you have twice x uh, so 2 times x plus x cubed over 3 plus x uh, to the 5 over 5 and so forth. Now why is that uh, true or better why can we say this? It's pretty easy to see because if you look at this guy here and you subtract from this equation, the above equation, what you get is x minus minus x will give you 2x. We have minus x squared over 2. Now we subtract from that this guy minus minus gives you plus so 
and we get minus x squared over 2 plus x squared over 2 this will cancel and you see uh, we always get a cancellation for all the um, uh, even powers of x and for the odd we just get plus here and uh, the double because for example if we were here we would have to take x to the 3 over 3 and then we uh, subtract minus x cubed over 3 which is nothing else than adding x cubed to the 3 and then we can just go ahead and um, factor out 2 and we have this series. Now why would one use this series instead of these guys? Because using this series you are able to calculate even larger values. For example you can say or better uh, equate this to a number a and then solve for x to find uh, which x do I have in to plug in here to get any arbitrary number for example 7 or 17 or uh, I don't know which number you want to calculate just uh, do it this way you just take this equate this with the number you want to calculate the logarithm for then you get a special value for x and then if you plug in x you have the series for this um, number okay now what can we do with this especially I want to have a look at this guy okay and what we want to do is actually we want to plug in one okay let's do this let's plug in one now what do we get we would get such an equation the logarithm of 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus uh, 1 over 5 minus 1 over 6 and so forth now you might say something okay you plugged in 1 but actually I told you before that uh, the it's only allowed to plug in values smaller than 1 from the magnitude now how or better why can I do this I can do this because the right hand side even converges if I plug in plus one in this uh, in the second representation because it still converges and I get this result and actually you could go ahead and use numerical um, evidence to see if this is really the case and we can do this because um, the first boundary that we found that uh, the magnitude of x should be smaller than 1 is just the most conservative sometimes on the boundary you still have convergence okay and this is the case where we have this and um, quite interesting isn't it so 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 and so forth will give you a very interesting sum the logarithm of 2 now uh, there is a way to show the convergence of this by the Leibniz criterion which is you need three things for that first of all your sum has to go uh, it has to be an alternating sum and we have that plus minus plus minus what you also see is that it is uh, monotonely from the magnitude decreasing that we have also you see this is 1 over 2 1 over 3 1 over 4 our additions get smaller and what is also important um, if you take the limit of the series it has to go to 0 and this is a normal condition this has to be uh, true for every converging sum and by that we can show that this guy is really convergent now what is important is that if we plug in um, uh, minus Two, for example, not minus two, but if we go to the other side of the um, of the um, uh, definition value, so if we plug them plus one. Let's calculate minus one. What we then get is um, we would actually get the harmonic series here. We know that the harmonic series um, diverges to infinite uh, to infinity, and if we would calculate the logarithm for x going to 1 actually uh, this this would be the same as going for the second series with logarithm of 1 plus x instead of taking the logarithm of 1 plus x take the logarithm of 1 minus x and plug in x or better take the limit from x uh, for x to going to 1 then what you get is actually minus infinity so it shows you that even if your sum is uh, divergent it doesn't have the same value as it should have so uh, it means for us we can only use uh, this logarithm 
for uh, one special value for logarithm of two we can actually use this is no problem and uh, else we have to stay really uh, from the magnitude smaller than one actually that's it with my video i hope you had fun on this video if you have still some questions about uh, this video feel free to ask and uh, that's actually it so see you guys